These three lenses are the most widely used premium multifocal lenses in the United States. So how do I determine which of these three lens implants works best for most patients? Two ways. I measure what percent of patients are truly happy with their vision through these lenses. By that, I mean the patients see high definition, far, mid, and near, without glasses for most, if not all, activities. And if they notice imperfections to their vision, the imperfections don't really seem to bother them that much. And number two, what percent of patients are unhappy or dissatisfied with their visual quality, range, or side effects to a degree that they actually want to have their lens implant removed and replaced with a different lens implant. We offer all three of these lens implants for patients in our practice who want to see far, mid, and near with minimal to no reliance on glasses through cataract or premium lens replacement. First, let me disclose, I have no financial interest in any of the products discussed in this video. I received no compensation from any of these companies to speak about their products. I only receive compensation from patients who come to see me for their eye care or eye surgery. As new multifocal lenses are released, we'll use them and then listen to what our patients say. For most multifocal lenses, most patients are very happy with their vision. When we use these lenses at scale for hundreds or thousands of patients, then the true strengths and weaknesses of each of these lens implants becomes apparent, and we're able to separate out the marketing hype from industry and from paid consultants versus reality. Our patients will tell us which of these lenses works best based on the results. Patients with multifocal lenses are generally very satisfied with their vision 96 to 98% of the time, but that two to 4% of patients that are dissatisfied with their vision will be very specific as to why they're dissatisfied with their vision. Because they're generally so unhappy with their vision that they feel like they can't live the rest of their life with the visual imperfections or side effects that they're noticing. In other words, the side effects of the lens implants are adversely impacting the quality of their life. So you have the Odyssey lenses in both eyes. Mm -hmm. You can actually see 20, 20 far away. You're basically in normal focus. Mm -hmm. What's the number one thing that bothers you about your vision with the Odyssey in each eye? Halos. Why does it bother you? I can't drive at night. Okay, and so... Is that the wrong answer? No, that's, <laughs> that's the truth. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! That is the truth. Just, I can't drive at night. That's right. And I said, can you live with it? And you said what? No. I, I, because I need to be able to drive at night. I don't have the option, really. Right. And if I said, just live with it, and I didn't do anything, how would you feel? Oh, devastated. Okay. So, we're going to remove the Odyssey from your right eye. Mm -hmm. We're going to replace it with an ND lens. And we'll ask you the same question. Perfect. After. I hope we get a good answer. Thanks. That's it. So let's talk about these three currently available multifocal lenses widely used in the United States today. The Envy, I've used about 285 of these Envy lenses over the past nine months. I've used about 550 of the Odyssey lenses over the past 14 months. And I've used about 2,500 Panoptics lenses since 2019. About two months ago, we started using the newer version of the Panoptics called the Panoptics Pro. And I've used about 20 Panoptics Pro over the past two months, and it seems to be working well. So what are the top three reasons why patients are dissatisfied with their vision with multifocal lenses? Number one, they'll see a halo around lights at night that is intolerable. Number two, they'll have decreased quality of vision. They'll say, my vision is just not clear at any distance. Or number three, they'll have reduced range of vision. They'll say, I still have to rely on glasses more than I want, or they'll say, my near vision's not as good as I want, 
my far vision is not as good as I want, or my mid range is not as good as I want. But two of three are good. One of three is not good. So decreased range of vision. So let me talk about why the Envy is the best multifocal in my experience. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. All right, gentlemen, we have a hop to take. Our deck on this hop will be 10,000 feet. There'll be no engagement below that. Between January 15th, 2025 and June 27th, 2025, 27 patients that I treated underwent intraocular lens exchange where I removed their multifocal lens, their extended depth of focus lens, or even their monofocal lens. And I replaced the lens that I removed with the Envy multifocal lens. All 27 of the patients that received the Envy were very satisfied with their range and quality of vision and felt that they were happy with their vision with the Envy lens, whereas before they were unhappy with their vision through their other multifocal lens made by another company or their other extended depth of focus or monofocal lens. I posted other videos over the past five months of patients that underwent intraocular lens exchange, received the NV, and they shared the results. And I'll post the links to those videos in the section below. So I started placing the NV multifocal lens on November 4th, 2024. And over the past eight months, I placed 285 of these lens implants for my patients. And so far, the vast majority have been very happy with their visual results. Now, there's no perfect lens implant, and patients with the Envy lens will still see halos around lights at night, but thus far, the halos seem to be tolerable. They don't reach the level of severity where the patient will say, I can't drive at night because I feel unsafe due to the fact that I see these large halos around lights at night. On the other hand, other multifocal lenses sometimes do meet that threshold where the patients feel unsafe driving at night, want their lens removed. We usually will replace it with an Envy multifocal lens. And through the Envy, the patients feel like their halo effect is dramatically reduced and they feel safe driving at night. You had the Odyssey in both eyes in April, correct? Correct. There we go. That was April. It's today's June 25th. Why were you dissatisfied with your vision with the Odyssey lenses? Because I kept having a film around, like it wasn't clear. Um, I, I couldn't even like describe it. It was constantly on the edges. It was just a constant film on the sides. On around, each eye? On both eyes, yeah. But when you look through the middle, you could see fine? Mm -hmm. Did you need glasses at all? I never tried any yeah. glasses. No. So you were glasses free? Mm -hmm. Right. But you said that that film was not acceptable, right? Mm -hmm. So yesterday we removed the Odyssey lens from your right eye. Correct. Replaced it with the Envy lens. It's now 24 hours after intraocular lens exchange on your right eye. Mm -hmm. What do you notice now? A big difference. Like more clear, even with the little card that she gave me a while ago. Um, when I had this eye closed, right? It was still blurry with my left one. But then when I covered my left one with my new lens that you put me yesterday, it was a big difference. It was, I was like, wow, it, it was clear. So like if you're looking at a card and you're reading, describe the difference. That's the NVI, your right yeah, eye. This is super clear. And with this one, there's somewhat of blurred, very light, okay. but it's not, it's not clear like this one. This one's like, wow. How's the far vision? So you, you have an eye chart. Mm -hmm. How's the far vision it's from good. Your, from each eye? No, not not this one. This one I could I still see a lot of the halo. I still see I don't see as good with this one. 
Okay. The left one. Do you, do you, can you identify any artifact or uh, variable about the right eye that bothers you? It's one day out, so it could get better, but do you notice anything weird? No. So the right it, It's like day and night with the one that you did yesterday on the right eye. You know, everybody was shocked that I was coming by myself. I mean, I felt good. Like, you drove yourself here. You I mean. drove myself. Okay, yeah. it, was, it, it felt, it just seemed, I didn't want to, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but it just seems a lot, like 100% better on my right eye. That's it. Thank you. And the range of vision with the Envy seems to be as good, if not better, than any of the other multifocal lenses. Now, out of the 285 patients that have received the Envy lens over the past eight months, one has been very dissatisfied and wanted the Envy removed. They noticed intolerable halos around lights at night, which means, of course, there is no perfect lens. Patients will sometimes notice side effects of different lenses, but if only one in 285 patients has been dissatisfied to a degree where they want the lens removed, then that means their to date after eight months is a dissatisfaction rate of 0.35%. And that means conversely that there is a satisfaction rate of 99.65%, which is quite high. Now, what lens did I use to replace the Envy for the individual who did not like their quality of vision? I replaced it with the light adjustable lens. So you have the Odyssey on your left eye and you have the Envy in your right eye, correct? correct? You're now able to see without glasses, correct? Correct. What's the difference between that you notice between the, the vision of your right eye and the vision of the left eye? I believe the right eye is more clear and it also is less halos. Okay. So I like that better. Can you tell the difference on like the mid range or the near or are they about the same? They're both good. Okay. But definitely at night when you're but comparing? At night is when I can tell the difference. Describe the halo from your left eye versus your right eye. The left eye, the halos are like, they kind of grow like this and then my right eye, not so much. There's there's still a ring around, but it's not like the left eye. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So in conclusion, if you want the lens implant with the highest satisfaction rate and the lowest dissatisfaction rate, it's this one, the Envy multifocal lens. As always, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.